I can't ever remember uh, not seeing in any pathology book I've ever seen in my life a picture of uh, elephantiasis, uh, always the most grotesque picture of any pathology book of people uh, with uh, legs about eight times thicker than they should be, so much edema, their toes are covered uh, with uh, skin, and of course their scrotums going down to their ankle practically. We were told that was because of uh, worms, round worms which obstruct the lymphatics. Well, the disease which causes this uh, is called filariasis. And if you look up here in the Northeast, you'll see some generally soft tissue in which you see lighter stuff in the middle and you're wondering what it is. And then when you blow it up a little bit down here, you can see it, sure, it looks like it might very well be fibrous tissue, but we see something that is perhaps by now recognizable as non-human. And these are the worms. And of course, the larval forms we could see in, uh, in blood, and they're not much bigger than red blood cells. The, uh, the bigger forms we could see out here uh, look like many of the parasites do in that uh, they just don't look like normal tissue. They're round. Uh, on some sections, you could see they're cigar-shaped. In, in most sections, they just cut uh, transverse to their longitudinal axis. This is filariasis. And specifically, uh, you may remember that this is caused by uh, roundworms, one of the three types of worms that infect humans as parasites. And the classical organism is Wucheria bancrofti. But technically, if you go to Wiki, which I did, so I didn't look dumb for showing this, uh, the Brugia, or Brugia perhaps, I've never pronounced it before, Malaya and Timori species are also uh, also transmitted by mosquitoes, can cause a, a similar picture. And once again, with a lot of these parasitic diseases, you'll probably never see one, but that doesn't uh, hide the fact that about 120 million people have this, mostly in tropical countries. Well, I thank you very much.